Hi, and welcome to the special episode to my vlog podcast where I just jump onto the seamstress tag by Holly Souls. I got tagged by a few followers on Instagram and my friend The Passionate Spinner. Thank you so much, Holly Souls, for this great idea to getting the sewing community, sewing vloggers together. So, let's get started. I'll start with the first question. It's who are you? I'm uh, Kirsten. I live in southern Germany in the mountains and that's about it. Um, the second question is a bit <laughs> longer to answer. When and why did I start sewing? I learned sewing as a kid when, um, when I was eight or nine. My mom taught me sewing. So um, I was sewing at the beginning, I was sewing clothes for dolls and bags out of old jeans and uh, stuff like this until um, I got, um, as a teenager, I got onto uh, sewing clothes. Um, my mom taught me how to use a pattern and how to just use um, the sewing machine, what is all the basic um, words or um like what's a grain line what's uh the seam allowance and stuff and uh when i went to uni my mom saw online in a supermarket that they had a cheap um sewing machine for sale so she said you go and get that machine and just um I said, I don't need that one, but she said, yeah, you need it, you will see, sometime you will need it. And she was right. Uh, it took about three or four uh, years until I first saw another thing. It was a skirt. I still have that one. And um, But it took, in the end, eight years after I bought that sewing machine until I really started sewing clothes. So four years ago, I inherited her sewing machine and since then I'm just hitched in onto sewing clothes and um, because they just fit me better than the ones I can, can buy in the stores. So um, the third question is, what is your favorite or proudest make? I don't think I have a proudest or favorite make um, with everything I have in the um, in my closet right now. The, but the proudest thing I don't wear too ma often is my traditional dimble, which uh, I saw during a sewing class three years ago, I believe. And uh, I'm proud of that. Um, Dumble because it's uh, around 180 hours work in that. I will show it to you. It's um, this is just the bodice, and it's um, it's really it has everywhere here that's everywhere piping and all these uh, embellishments are here uh, sewn by hand. So it has a lot of hooks here, and it's a huge beautiful thing and just this uh, it had, has also boning in here and all the piping is um, sewn with a um, by machine so you have to add everything in here so this is just the bodice of it but there's still a, a skirt and two aprons so um, that's my favorite make uh, or my proudest make so the fourth question is what uh, is your most disastrous make? I have been sewing a jersey shirt two years ago and the neckline was huge. It was like this big and uh, it all fall apart and you couldn't just shrink it or do something to get it smaller. And um, I just threw it directly in the bin and it was just not wearable. That's uh, my most disastrous make. The fifth question is, where is your favorite place to go sh uh, fabric shopping? I have found uh, a few months ago a store, which is called, uh, it's uh, from the company Gläser. It's um, 
around the next store is around 60 kilometers from here but it's really worth going because they have a great shops they have more than just one shop they have uh, three or four shops in different uh, different cities and uh, they have lots of different fabrics so you can go from quilting fabrics to some uh, clothing and just de decorative they have everything so this is where I just go um, when I have time and it's like just a trip a fabric shopping trip with my friend so that's uh, one of the favorite stores there's another one just close by it's called the Larifari and um, this is just in an old barn it's stuffed full of fabric from bottom to top and if you don't know where the fabric is you're looking for in that store you're just uh, overwhelmed by how much fabric they have um, when I buy online uh, fabric I uh, buy it at stoffe.de they have a really really great uh, Stuff too. They are also sending samples, so that's what I did for um, my new sewing project. I just ordered some um, fabric, uh, some fabric samples. They're just like this big for color checking, and um, it was a great service. So, and the second uh, online shop I like here in Germany, it's Butinette. They're also, uh, I think both of them are also shipping abroad. So um, this is also, they have um, have quite a few good deals and they have nice fabrics. So then there's a third possibility for me to buy, um, and which I also like to buy fabric. There's some um, fabric markets which are every fall and spring and um, those um, sellers, uh, they're just traveling around uh, Germany, the whole country around all Germany and they're just in the weekends um, one day and for us there's uh, one market which is around 180 kilometers apart but it's really worth it because you can make uh, good deals out of it. So um, this is what where and uh, what I buy fabric. Uh, what is my, my most used pattern? I think I have never used a pattern twice until now as I want to try as many patterns as I can to improve my skills and to also see which pattern fit me best so that I can decide okay this is a silhouette I like or I don't like, um, which uh, pattern designer are easy to change, easy to adopt, so um, that's why I think I have never uh, sewn anything more than once. So um, my most dreaded sewing task is sewing buttons. Even if I love buttons and I have a whole box of them, I really avoid it until I really have to finish it. So uh, it's also with my knitted stuff that I just leave the buttons until I really want to show the finished project or I want to uh, wear it and then I have to sew the buttons on. So uh, it's nothing I really, really love. And my favorite sewing task is zippers. I love invisible zippers and um, I think it's a great possibility to just um, give clothing a clean finish. That's why I love zippers. Um, my favorite sewing entertainment is um, audiobooks. I love um, listen to audiobooks while I'm sewing and if I um, if I'm not um, paying attention to uh, the sewing book, uh, to the sewing book, to the audiobook, I can just wind back and just uh, start over or get to the position where I just remember I was. So it's um, something where I don't I can be 
still focused on the knit, uh, on the sewing. So, uh, what about printed or PDF pattern? As uh, we have here in Germany or in Europe, many different magazines where you can uh, pattern magazines. They're all to be traced. Um, you cannot just cut into those pattern because there's uh, around between 40 and 50 pattern in uh, one magazine and it's not it's not something you just do so I'm used to tracing patterns and that's why I um, usually all even if I buy single patterns I always trace them because I always have to adopt them adapt them to my uh, size and to my measurements so I like the PDF and the printed as well because anyway I have to uh, I have to adapt them if I do it directly I'd say it's faster with the printed PDF because then I adopt the pattern and just cut it out well um, what a sewing machine I use I have inherited my mom's faf it's the 1017 one it's a model which is now over 35 years old but it works like a clockwork I have never had any problems with with it and it's just a gray machine it's um, not electrical uh, so yes it is but it's not computerized it's uh, but it has a uh, I think 40 or 50 different um, stitches so it also sews um, through leather it has some really nice features like the the walking foot on the top a walking foot yeah that was the word and um, I bought myself as I was sewing so much more clothes I bought myself two years ago a Gritzner 788 um, overlocker which is also a really really neat machine um, what other hobbies do I have I am, as you have seen in my podcast, if you have watched it before, I am knitting and I'm spinning yarn and um, as I live in the mountains and I just have view to mountains every day, um, I'm, my hobby is also sports. Well, I hope you liked my seamstress tag and I hope you enjoyed learning more about me i'm glad that you have watched it and uh hopefully i will see a lot more of uh, others and thank you again holly to holly thank you for all who have tagged me because it it was a really great idea and uh see you soon or hopefully see uh, some comments from you on my lovely vlog Bye.